Grace here and today I have your fabulous two-part vlog on the pinup prom that took place over the weekend. This fabulous event is one that I put on myself and I was so truly excited to see this come to be something so very fabulous. The pinup prom is something I've been thinking about for quite some time now and it was when we had the Dita Von T show come to Perth that I heard so many ladies saying they wish there were more events that they could wear their fabulous, more formal, vintage style clothing to. So I thought this would be a great opportunity to start a new annual event and this is the pinup prom. A really opulent evening where ladies can dress up, they can come with friends, a partner or even just by themselves and their cool friends. It's really more of a social event, so it had a few performance elements. We had Dolly Von Blonde, Mr. Daffery as our MC, with Sammy Sparkles and yours truly performing on the evening, as well as the Cherry Blossoms, who are an amazing band from Perth, who I had played two sets throughout the night, which was just truly amazing. The event itself went really well. It was really well received, so I'm already planning for 2017. We'll be announcing a date real soon for September next year, but I can't wait for it to be even bigger and better. For the first part of this video series, I'm going to be talking about the outfits I wore to the fabulous pinup prom. I had my hair styled by the fabulous ladies at Cherry Bomb Beauty Parlor. They did a set with hot sticks the day before and I just recycled that hairstyle and brushed it out to the way I wanted to wear it on the evening. For my outfits though, I couldn't decide on just one fabulous item because I do have quite a few dresses I've been wanting to wear more of. So I decided to wear four fabulous dresses that evening. Throughout the night I did costume changes and came out in different outfits and I just wanted to capture a broad range of the spectrum of different dresses that suit our event. I wore was a beautiful red number. I bought this from Bettina Darling. It's absolutely stunning. Floor length. It's 1980s does 1950s. It's beautiful with almost like a sparkle to the fabric and it is a strapless number and I wore just some simple opera length gloves on the side and my Daisy Jean floral hair flower. second outfit I wore a lilac and lace dress. This is actually a number I bought from an op shop a few years ago. I used to have these really ornate sleeves that didn't quite suit my shape so I altered it to be a sweetheart neckline with just some ribbon straps. I coupled this with a headpiece that I also sourced from an op shop and just accessorized from there. my third outfit, I wore another number from Bettina Darling, a beautiful royal blue, really true vintage 1950s gown. This is more of a tea length but it had just a beautiful look to it and I accessorized this with a beautiful hat that I bought from an op shop and I actually got that from my favourite op shop, Anglicare Morley. dress I wore a beautiful custom made gown I had made in Indonesia when I went there a few years ago. It is a beautiful tighter fitting number floor length with a halter neck strap and a bit of vintage marabou fur along the top of this. I coupled this with a fabulous hat that I bought from another fabulous op shop. This one was sequins. I actually wore this outfit specifically for my burlesque performance I did in the evening. So I came out in this gown, I mingled with the guests and then I got up on stage to 
do a little bit of a surprise act. I had so much fun dressing over the top and changing outfits throughout the night and surprising people as I walked past and they realised I'd done another outfit change. It was really something unique on the evening as well as all the fabulous ladies who came along. They all dressed so impeccably well and all the gentlemen were just so dapper which was just incredible to see. For the evening we also had a best dress contest. And we were crowning a prom king or queen and the queen title went to the beautiful Monica who chose her partner to come up to stage and begin our slow dance. This was my absolute favourite part of the evening because the whole room just started dancing which was just simply incredible. I can't thank our cast and crew enough for taking part in this event. We had a beautiful mini market consisting of stalls from Memphis Bells by Della Photography who had a photo booth. We had Vintage Fixation, Aroma Angels and Cherry Lane and they just created a beautiful atmosphere in the foyer. Again, I must thank our performers. We had Mr. Dapria MC, Dolly Von Blonde who performed the opening act and of course and of course the decadent Sammy Sparkles. You all did a truly fabulous job and I can't thank you enough for being a part of my event. Part two will be uploaded later today, so be sure to stay tuned for more fabulous photos from the event. As always, if you'd like to stay up to date with all my vintage fun, be sure to hit the subscribe button below and I'll be seeing you guys all real soon.